Being in this tournament, it makes me be strong, be brave. It just makes me feel like I know I can do this and it just brings out my confidence a lot. We created this project to increase participation levels for young girls and women in and around London. Growing up, there wasn't that many opportunities for me. Never in a million years did I think I'd be running an all-girls tournament. I think it's important for projects like this to be set up in the community to give women and young girls the chance to be able to showcase their talents, meet new people and improve their confidence. Carry on playing no matter what people say about you, no matter what people think about you. As long as you enjoy playing football, that is really the only thing that matters. I always told myself when I was younger I would never be a coach, but now I wouldn't change it for the world. I've found my passion and it's given me the platform to be able to change young people's lives through sport. Women's sport deserves to have a platform because there are young girls across the world that need to see people like themselves doing things that they've never thought they could do. My biggest takeaway from the Breaking Barriers project has been to always back yourself. We went into this project not expecting 60 young girls and women and we smashed it and got 90 plus so yeah always back yourself, always back yourself. It's not always about winning, it's about losing as, as well. Because in life there will be times where you lose so you shouldn't be upset. It's all about having fun, enjoying and taking part in everything. So that's what I learned today. Being in an environment where I can make young people feel safe and wanted is something that I always wanted growing up. And to do that on a big scale like today is, yeah, it's made me quite emotional. I want to change their lives somehow, you know, and I can do that through sport.